shirt and on the back it has hashtags and some stuff like every day we lit and find a way or make one because that's our motto and then I just have on this little plaid skirt from Zara like years ago and I don't have a graduation cap so I put on my little um, flower crown from Zara but I actually think that I don't want to wear it so this is the graduation look not the graduation look that I expected um, but it's only temporary and we will do a photo shoot and all that good stuff later. I look forward to you volunteering your time, your talent, and of course, your treasures. Once again, on behalf of the Clark Lane University alumni family, we welcome you. We look forward to seeing you in the near future. We love you and we always remember, go Panthers. And I'm gone. Again, congratulations class of 20... Good morning, you all. Happy Wednesday. Welcome back to another day in my life vlog. Still in the house, still chilling, um, still working. I am officially done with school. I graduated on Monday. You guys will have seen that in the vlog as well. I'm officially done, so I am now just using this time to literally pour into my YouTube, pour into my blog, pour into Friend Style. All that good stuff because I have so many things that I've been wanting to do for you all but it was just hard not being able to do it full-time because of school and once I start work um, I'm not sure what that situation is gonna be so this is like probably one of the only times for a while that I'm gonna have to solely dedicate to myself and my brand and my work so definitely trying to use my time accordingly while still kind of balancing and giving myself a break because i did just finish four intensive years of school um but this is what i love and this is what i like to do so it doesn't really feel like i'm working so with that being said we have a full day today i had a slow morning i woke up a little late and just kind of laid in bed i read my devotional um and just kind of like sat with god for a little bit which was absolutely amazing and now i am about to do a workout i've been doing the chloe team workout on um youtube i did her two week ab challenge and now i think that today i'm going to start the two week shred challenge so like all of the workouts the ab challenge is a part of that challenge and as you can see my bed is not made up so we're going to start by making that up because i cannot function without my bed made up i have my rack over there with some new goodies on it but i don't think that i'm going to do a haul because you would think we're, we're going somewhere the way that stuff has been selling out but i just wanted to get a few new pieces to film in for you guys and there's a cute little red dress over there that i wanted to take some graduation pics in but Atlanta has just been cloudy and rainy and not very Atlanta-ish. So I did not take any pictures. But a graduation shoot will definitely happen after all of this is over. Even if it's a year from now um, or even if it's when I finally graduate, which I have no idea when that will be. But yeah, we're going to make up my bed. We're going to do a workout. I wanted to film a video today, but like I said, it's super cloudy and I much prefer natural light, but we'll see how that goes. And if I do not film 
the video then I'll definitely probably film some TikToks still and film shoot some pictures so that's the plan for today I have some content in mind that I want to get done so maybe I can get Nate to come over and snap some of the pictures for me that I can't snap myself Myself, Timer, and I, we hold it down. We really do. Um, and my remote and I, we hold it down. But sometimes there's just stuff that, like, you need somebody to be on the other side of the camera to see. So that they can just get you those, like, boom shots, you know. So, yeah. And that's what's going on. Let's make up this bed. I think 11 30 but I missed it this morning so I'm just watching her replay from that but I don't have any lashes so I need to run to my mailbox and get my lashes because I ordered some on Amazon and they are in my mailbox so I'm gonna go and run into the Scott Azara package you guys and I have been wanting ignore my face I took one of my lashes off I'm putting more glue on it but this is real life so I have been wanting these sandals forever and I actually want a pair of Chanel dad sandals but I am having an absolute time sourcing them because everybody wants them so I'm waiting on my personal stylist friends at trend styling to help me out they have been searching high and low for me so if anybody knows where I can get a size 37 and a half spring summer 19 or spring summer 20 Chanel dad sandals please let me know I literally look like a spot eyed dog with one lash on and one lash on. It's, like, it's like half the face let me just show you guys half my face look at these aren't these so cute these are so freaking cute. So bear with me. This is my thought process. I really want the Chanel dad sandals. But I also really loved the Cecile. Ben I forget how to say her name. But I'm going to pop up a picture. Um, she has like a white pair. A black pair with like blue. And then a black pair with like yellow. Um, sporty dad sandals. But they're like $400. And I was like I don't need those and Chanel dad sandals so these are like my dupe for the um Cecile and then I will splurge on the Chanel ones because Chanel is Chanel and they hold their value and their leather so I know that they're gonna hold up so that is my thought process I am almost done getting ready um, it's only taken me forever, 
but I've been doing stuff in between and then I'm gonna vacuum my floor like I said and then we are going to shoot some photos. loungewear situation doing a couple other things shooting some rack shots I shot um, some little flat lays of some new items that I've gotten that I want to show with you guys share with you guys and I think I'm probably gonna do one more look before I call it quits for the day because I want to wash my wig and rebraid my own hair um, I had made like some shrimp like a shrimp and rice bowl for yesterday so i'm just gonna eat those leftovers <sighs> y'all i've been trying to get it together fitness wise really get back into a routine and um quit it with the quarantine snacking so i've been back on my intermittent fasting for about three weeks now so so i just stepped out of my apartment real quick because i realized that i gave one of my uncle apartment number for my graduation card so I need to go to the people's apartment that we put that he put on there the, the wrong apartment number that I gave them and I inverted the numbers <laughs> so I'm going to try to track down my graduation card these are my leftovers from yesterday I have some shrimp and some broccoli that I made in the air fryer and then I just have some basmati rice over here and I like to put some feta cheese on this and it is so good. I also eat this with chicken sometimes and other vegetables, honestly, like just whatever I have. Um, whatever veggies I have, I'll throw in here. Whatever protein I have, I'll just throw in and just make a little bowl situation. It's a good way. To use up what you have so things don't go bad and just to have a really filling dish so I think tomorrow I'm probably gonna make some salmon cakes because I have some bell peppers in my fridge that I do not want to go bad so I will more than likely be making some salmon cake. So that should be super good. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just eat the rest of this because I'm starving. And it's like not enough for me to have another portion of it. You know what I mean? Like if I left some, there's not enough for me to have a full portion and then there's not enough for two portions, that's what I'm trying to say. Duh. There's like a portion and a half, so I guess I'll just have a pretty massive portion, which honestly doesn't even fit into this bowl. But it's okay. <laughs> it's all good. Gotta wash my hair. I absolutely hate washing my hair. This quarantine has made me hate it. I don't mind doing it when it's like I just choose to do it, but I've just been going to the hair salon this year, like as in this school year. I used to do my own hair like freshman and sophomore year and then junior year I finally found a hairdresser. I was just like, wow, this is great. So I've been going to get my hair done pretty much all of senior year. Junior year was kind of like off and on, I would do it sometimes, but senior year I was, getting my hair done um whether i was wearing wigs or had braids or was going to get my natural hair done and child this quarantine i'm just not into it i'm just i don't like doing things when i have to like when it's my only choice i don't like it so yeah y'all see my little picture still over there and my flowers are doing so well I shared on Instagram yesterday. Make sure you're following me on Instagram because I always give tons of little tips and tidbits into my day. So I've had these flowers since 
Saturday, but I think that they picked them up on Friday. Um, and it is now Wednesday, and they still look amazing. If you put, if you change the water, so change the water every two to three days, you have to cut the stems back a little bit, and then add water, a little bit of vinegar and sugar together, and drop a penny in there. It keeps your flowers fresh for so freaking long. And these smell amazing. They have like hydrangeas, peonies, roses, which are my favorite. I love hydrangeas and peonies. They are my absolute favorite flowers. So here is my dinner. Shrimp, broccoli, and rice bowl with some feta and a little bit of lemon juice. And I have a cup of... Whoa! Have a cup of crystal light. <laughs> 